Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are already in the Cursed Estate because I have been doing some planning and prep for our next mission today. We are going in to fight the Miller of the Colors of Madness DLC. I've prepped a team. We're bringing Fragment as he is... He has many ties to the Colors of Madness DLC and the Comet itself, so I thought it'd be best to bring him along. But I've created what I think is a pretty good team here, along with the help of a few people over in the Discord, especially TA. He has been very helpful. And also, he's got a lot of diary entries written that are coming up. So, we, we, with um, Hammurabi here, our leper, who we haven't brought out in a little while, we're taking the Captain's Helmet for that extra pro in position 1, as well as that move resist. We've got taken the Focus Ring mainly for the accuracy, but also for the crit. Uh, then, on Fragment here, we're taking the... Um, Esther's head uh, and the Book of Sanity. This is going to reduce that uh, to plus 20% stress off of this, but this is going to make his healing skill far more effective because he's going to be getting extra duration on the um, restoration and extra amount for this skill here. And we're going to be using this one relatively often because it not only heals the person we're healing, but it heals ourselves. Um, and we're going to be using a little bit for damage. He also has a repose that we might want to use as well. I'm keeping that on just in case we haven't really decided on whether I'll end up using that too much. Then we're actually taking out Ronaldius as well. Um, this was a decision that sort of I came to mainly because we were originally going to take out um, our uh, Man at Arms, Berthold, but we'd only just taken him out, so I decided it's better to sort of level up a level 3. Uh, and we're actually playing him in the back line with the uh, Lightning Sphere, the Princess's Guard, and the Lightning Impale, but mainly we're using him for this Sacred Earth here. This is only going to be used later on when we get to the boss, but this is going to be very good, and he's going to be kind of playing the back line, mainly using these two skills to go backward and forward, and the uh, Guard for that repose. He's also got the Leo Ring for that massive accuracy and repose damage bonus, as as well as the Dragon Slayer's Band, this is mainly for the 20% damage against size 2. We're going to be coming across a few size 2s along the way, but the boss itself is size 2, so that's going to be great. Absolutely great. Then, um, as a last one, we have Annie, who we have only just brought out, but she is only just level 4, and she has the, by far the highest healing, and she has that massively reduced stress as well. So this is going to make for a really, really, really good healer, uh, and it means we have two really high sources of healing incoming. We also do have some trinkets to take a look at. We have the um, the Gasting Bottle, which I'm really tempted by. Like, I really want it, but we really don't have the funds right now. But if we take a look over at... Um over at Joseph himself, Joseph Hare, uh, this would mean that his rupture would infuse giving an additional three healing uh, health healed, but also he'd be gaining plus five damage for the entire battle and plus five healing skill for the entire battle every single time he hits an enemy or uses a skill, which is really, really, really strong, but unfortunately we're going to have to leave it for now. Uh, we do have a ton of diary entries to go through today. We have a lot from TA, as well as probably one of the best and most intricate diary and stories from Cell, which I'm really looking forward to getting into. So we'll probably go into hers near the end of the episode just because it's uh, it's a very, very long story and I, I want to do it justice, so I'm not going to rush through it. But first of all, we'll start off with TA's diary entries. Thank you again for writing. Uh, from the local uh, cartographer, he says, I feel sick. The first from what I discovered in the courtyard has not gone away. It's gotten worse and I cannot seem to cure it. I fear I may have contracted some disease from the bites wounds, and if and if so, then I must see a doctor immediately. Isaac is the name of the plague doctor in town. He can surely treat me. I don't know about that. And we have another one from Sven, our new Urshanborn. I came here sick and dying, and some kind of woman at the Abbey has nursed me back to health. I've been keeping a secret from them. Whispers in my head. I don't know what they're saying, but I feel like something has pushed me towards those evil places the heroes have been going. I intend to leave with a group of outgoing heroes. I only hope they will let me tag along. Very, very nice. And we have one more to read before we get in, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave the rest for later on. And we have one from Dr. Henry Jackal here. And again, this is by T.E.A. As a favour to a fellow practitioner, I agreed to help Isaac with the autopsy of Andy Druid, who outwardly appeared to have been di have died from blood loss and a frighteningly high number of mosquito bites. To be fair, the mosquitoes were apparently enormous, but what's stranger is the physiology of the body after death. There's some slight but discernible differences in the burn structure and tissue of this corpse, and I s simply cannot tell why. Perhaps Andy was an, anom an anomaly. I'm going to chalk it up to that. 
Wow, there's been, been some crazy stuff going on over in that courtyard. I'm sure people don't want to head over there anytime soon. But we're going to embark. I have readied a team, as I said, and we're going to be going in for the farmstead. But this is going to be a tough fight, but it's also going to reward us pretty heavily with some really interesting stuff. First of all, we get the Twisted Specimen, which is going to be a really really nice Beastmaster trinket, which we are a stealth a lot, and it's going to pair nicely with the head that we've been wearing with him, which is um, this one here, isn't it? Which one is it? It's one of the heads. This one here. Uh, pairing it with this uh, and that, it's going to be really, really nice because it means he's going to be applying a lot of bleed while stealth, but he also, on hit, always applies bleed like he's got a really high chance to apply bleed so uh blight sorry so he's gonna be really really cool and i think him and harathan are gonna start a beautiful friendship after this uh we also have a really good ronin trinket for the new ronin we just brought in um let's see if we can find him what level ronin was he i can't actually remember uh jack here our ronin gonna be really good for him massive damage bonus and accuracy bonus on the first round he is gonna take some hits to his accuracy and speed though so he'll probably end up going last but he'll always hit hard and then we also have the Ceremonial Sheath, which is going to be a Sister's Trinket for extra damage and dodge in Warrior Mode, which, again, could be very, very beneficial. So let's hop on into our, uh, our battle here and just get ready to go. So I don't actually know what we need for uh, for this fight. I'm fairly sure we don't need food, but I'm going to bring it anyways. I'm basically going to just stock up as normal and not leave anything to chance, pretty much. Uh, so let's let's bring along as much food as we normally would. So, like, 20 food... There's no torches here, of course. We'll take four of them, three 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 of them. And we'll take three of these as well. Um, in fact, I'm going to take one more of each of those and see how that does us. I think that should be fine. Like I said, I don't think we actually need food, but I'm going to take that with me anyways. And the idea here is basically going to be, of course, huge damage coming in from Hammurabi here, uh, and then later on using that revenge. In fact, I'm going to make sure these skills are swapped around. So do that, 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 and revenge. Revenge is going to be sort of what we use for just the boss, and that's it. Scarecrow is mainly going to be using the fail, flail the crops and the shard of growth. Um, Reneldius is going to be using the princess guard probably to guard Hammurabi himself, if not um, Fragment here, uh, and he's also going to be moving back and forward with Annie here, so he's going to kind of be doing a little switch swap with uh, Annie, and then Annie is, of course, just going to be relying on almost entirely healing. That's uh, that's our job here. Let's just take a little look. Um, I don't think we have any really terrible terrible things to, to worry about. We do have this minus two speed here, which isn't great. Um... But I don't think anything else here is going to be terrible. I think the only thing we have to worry about is we have fairly low speed as a group. Like, as a whole, our, our speed isn't very good. But I think that's fine. We'll hop on in. And in fact, we'll read another diary entry after this. With certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the farmstead. The miller, lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. My gaze, however, was cast skyward, and I marveled at the limitless profanity of the stars, wondering what harvest might come. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, we, I'll go through another one here again from TEA. He's been writing an absolute ton. This is from Maggie the uh, Cook. Good news. I've heard the hag has been beaten back once more. I'm sure one final push is all we need to corner and finish her off. I plan to celebrate this future events with a massive feast in the town, and I'll even make use of the witch's brewing pot, if only for the irony. I'll be sure to have it thoroughly cleaned first, though. <laughs> Interesting. I like that. Right, let's head on in. I am ready. Onwards. Let's go. So, of course, we have to get through the normal battles first and reach ourselves up to the... Uh, the battle there. Ooh, Scarecrow v. Scarecrow. That's that's some big damage already. Um, let's just go for a kill here right off the bat. Didn't didn't get it, unfortunately. Uh, so we got to make sure to use the Lightning Spear and Thingy first. Let's go for the hit there. We do take a bit of repose damage, but I'm fine with that. Um, and the Scarecrow is really taking some hits here, but that's fine. Uh, we have that healing for a reason. We'll go with the Q because that can hit stealth. Unfortunately, it didn't, but... The fact that it can means it's worth doing. Uh, we'll finish you off. I'm really liking the Scarecrow class. I love the colour changing of it as well. It's super cool. Right, wow. They really want to kill the Scarecrow. That's crazy. But there you go. That, that huge healing is going to come in handy here. Um, ooh. 
I've just realised a slight mistake that I've made here. Slight mistake. Um, this skill can only be used from position three and onwards. I might need to switch that out. It's still fine. We're still we're still absolutely fine where we are because he can just keep using this skill and this can hit almost everyone. Uh, but I was hoping that we could uh, that we could get something going on there, but we we're not going to be able to, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, we'll just go for a straight up hit on you. There you go, Hamurabi, slicing down a target with absolutely no regrets. Uh, we'll finish you off. We probably won't need to use much healing, if not any, to start with. Really, here um, we can just kind of keep going along. That accuracy there's a little bit of a problem. Uh, we're just going to go for the party heal here. Get everyone back up to full. Uh, everyone apart from uh, Annie herself was hurt there, so that's fine. Uh, do you know what? We're going to guard you because you're getting hit so damn much that I think having a repose set up there is going to be great. Um, hopefully, stress isn't too big of a problem for us here. I'm, I'm really hoping that doesn't doesn't rear its ugly head. We'll go like that there. Get rid of that. Stop us from getting stressed. Um, yeah, we'll go for the heal on you again. Making sure everyone's topped up, really. We're just going to keep topping them up. And that, this repost is going to be so good for us here. And there's that 20 damage. And we're going to be striking it down. I'm sure Fragment feels absolutely in his element right now. Um, we'll go for you. Get rid of that repost target. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this setup. This setup's really good. Uh, we'll go for Hugh here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting the one-shot kills with Hugh. Um, but it is nice to have nonetheless. Uh... We could go with this here. That does do a good amount of damage and it's multi-target. We can always go with that. I'm going to keep on with the uh, multi-heals there, get everyone back up to top. Seeds of Madness is going to create another one of those. In fact, we're going to go for that straight away, I think. I think it's good to get them gone as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to to figure out what's best to do with this. Lightning Impale. I'm, I'm going to see if there's another attack that we can work in that pulls him forward one. Because I've... Slightly misplayed this. I don't think it's a huge misplay by any means because his skills are still really good It's just not great to have one skill that's not usable. I'd rather have usable skills to be honest Just get rid of those bodies, I guess But yeah, we're, we're not gonna get chance to change this anytime soon. I don't think so we, we, we just shouldn't worry about it to be honest um Let's let's set up this shall we let's set up this this stealths everyone means we're, we're going to get hit slowly. We are going to take on some stress, I think, but apparently a lot of stress, but I think it should be fine. Um, let's go for the Hue there. This should probably kill both of those. And is that going to kill you? It is. So, so we can just do whatever we want with these guys. I'm just going to go for the stun. He did unfortunately resist it, but we can hit him in the back line there with that nice crit. I'm loving this. Yeah, he's going to keep taking damage, but that's fine. Because uh, we can just heal him up. It's the stress that I'm more worried about than anything. But this is kind of a cool. This is kind of a cool way of doing things. Setting up that repose and then just carrying on from there. Nice hit. Yeah, Ronald. I, I love the fact that Ronaldo's can be like a uh, Ronaldo. Sorry, can be like a proper front line attacker, or he can go the complete opposite way and stick stick at the back line and kind of play support, which is really really nice. Nice hit on that body, and we got one of these here. Okay, that's pushing us forward. I'm not sure what this is. Um, the Gleaming Shards. Let's take a little bit of time to do some research on the Gleaming Shards before we push forward and make sure that we're, we're making the right decision here. Darkest Dungeon Gleaming Shards. There it is. Um, let's let's make sure we, we know exactly what's, uh, what's going on here. Darkest Dungeon Curios, you can help me out. So, um, description, location, cleansing, no cleansing interaction chances, non-cleansing interaction chances, um, more curious. So by the sounds of it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay to just use this without any fear of it being terrible for us. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure I just touch it and it gives me shards. Uh, we got we got the low roll. It was between 5 and 15 and we got 5, which is unfortunate. But I'm okay with it. Whoa, what is this? Oh my god, what's going on here? 
This is this is something I was not expecting. Okay, so we have regular enemies. Well, nice dodge there. Not so nice dodge, especially considering your stress is already high. Um, let's go with this. Unfortunately, quite a big miss there. Quite a big whiff. Let's try and take out these guys. I'm loving these huge crits we're getting here. That plus 40% damage against size 2. Not that it's useful now. Is, is very, very nice. Keep going on that. Get that stress reduction going. Go with the hue there. Ooh, that's a big crit. That's a big crit. Wasn't expecting that. Why? You, you need to leave... You need to leave poor little fragment alone. You need to leave poor little fragment alone. Um, go with Hugh again. Kills the stealth one at least. I'm going to go with the party heal here. I should get us back up to a, a good level. Oh my god, they absolutely love to attack uh, Fragment here. Unfortunately, no kill there. That's really a shame because we kind of needed that. Got a size 2 coming in. That's actually really good for Rinaldius here. I don't think he can hit the, the front line. I, I think we're going to have serious problems. Serious, serious problems with Scarecrow's um, stress. Are you not size 2? I thought you were size 2. That should have done insane damage. But there's a there's a huge crit from uh, from my boy Hamurbi there. Right. Um, we can do without healing here. Let's just go for the go for the hit. I should probably should have done it on the one behind. Crushing blow is going to hurt. It did. And there's the guard as well. Okay. And seeds of madness behind. This is definitely definitely different from what I was expecting. Wow. You have buffed your prot a lot, haven't you? That you have. Uh, can we stun you out of this? It's plausible. Yes, we did. Good. That's what we want to be doing. Yeah, I, I thought this would do crazy damage against him, but it's not doing anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Not a huge problem, to be honest. We're still getting through it. There's the stress coming in. Oh, we all dodged. Great. We all dodged. These goblet throwers. Oh, leave him alone. Leave Fragment alone. Fragment's going to be so screwed this fight. We're not even anywhere near the boss yet. Like, we've still got, like, two more sets of battling to go. And I missed that. so terrible for us. And Fragment is just taking on so much stress. It's, it's terrible. Go for this. Need to get that stress reduction going. We've, we've not got nearly enough stress reduction in this group, I don't think. It's going to be pretty bad for us. Oh, the, no, the dodge. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Right. You're gonna- th that goblet's gonna hit me again. I know it. I just know it. Told you. Oh, we're so screwed here. We're so screwed, guys. I did not know we'd have stress dealers like this in this fight. I was not prepared at all. I thought we would be fighting Colors of Madness enemies only, and it seems that I was completely incorrect. I'm gonna go for the big hit there. This is gonna hit us for more stress. Yep. Well, horror. We can we can clear the horror off of Scarecrow, though. Off of our fragment here. Uh, let's do that now. But yeah, this is this has not gone the way I was hoping it would, to be fair. I have to say, we're taking so much stress on Scarecrow, it's insane. We're going to go for the higher stress reduction there. It's only three, though. It's, it's, it's really not much. It's really not much. And that's a, that's a huge crit. That's a huge crit right there, right. Let's start guarding him, because he's just not doing well. He's just not doing well. We need to guard him. Seeds of Madness definitely don't help. In fact, we're going to get rid of one of those for the healing. Nice one. And try, yes. Got rid of that as well. Just keep on, keep going with that, that guard. But yeah, this isn't good. I was not expecting this at all. We're going to have to keep our guard up on him, like, pretty much permanently. Ow. Um, the Fresh Harvest. Let's take a look at what Fresh Harvest does, shall we? Uh, fresh Harvest. Heal 90% of maximum HP. Okay, so we just do that on you for now, shan't, shan't we? Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm still very worried here. I think I think Scarecrow is going to be in a really bad position um, for the most part. And we're gonna we're gonna take on some serious stresses him, but we'll see. We'll see. So four to six. Not really enough, is it? Can can we get a kill here? We can't get a kill here. Let's just go for high damage on you then. Thirteen's great. Took on a stun. 
Can we kill you with this? Nah, I think I think we go through for the group heal nonetheless. Getting pretty much everyone back to full HP. Rinaldi is here. I'm just gonna go for the pro um the protection, sorry, the guard. Uh just because we need to avoid that stress. We have to. That stress is gonna be a real killer for us. A fragment there. Stun was bad. Not terrible, but bad. Um let's keep going on this. Small amounts of stress reduction. It's helping. Getting rid of both of those is great. We don't want to use this. We've got to keep this for, for later. Um, yeah, we keep that guard going. That repost is like really high damage. And it's buffing his um, dodge every single time as well, which is really good for us. Go for that attack there. Trample's actually decent because we get that repost. Although I did not know that Trample had such a crazy effect on our uh, party composition here, which is not good at all. Um, yeah, we'll just heal here and we'll move everyone else around as we go. That's forward one. Oh my god. We have to go back. With you, we have to go forward. Okay, that should be mostly fine now. And of course, a miss. Trample again. So, oh, this, this is stressful, guys. This is not what I was expecting to come across. I mean, we're in an okay position right now, but... I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling the pain. Nice kill, Hammerby. Forward one. We don't want to go forward one. We don't. So do we just go back one here? No, I think we I think we up the guard. Keep our dodge up. And then we move you forward one. It's it's, it's bad. It's bad. We're just gonna go for that there, because we need to get rid of them before they start stressing us out. Trample again? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is terrible. Right, you need to go, sir. You need to go. I know we're going to take stress from this thing now, but it had to be done. I probably should have moved these two around rather than taking that hit there. I, I realized that, but we had to. We can't move this guy around. Um, yeah, we have to keep you where you are, unfortunately. We go for a hit on you. Move you back. This is bad. This has all gone so bad. Right. We'll go for the big damage on you and try and get you down, because I don't exactly know what that thing does. And he's taking a bit of damage there. Luckily, it doesn't look like these guys can move us around too much. This composition works. It's not ideal, but it works. So let's just... Go for Hugh. Oh, that miss is terrible, Hammurabi. Terrible timing on that miss. Yeah, this, this this comp works. I don't know if we can use her AoE heal from there, though, which is a problem. Oh, no, we can only use her AoE heal. We need That's the one we need to be using right now, so I'm fine by that. No trespassers, thanks for the dodge there, Annie. Well done. There's the crits we need. Thank you. Gets that accuracy buff going as well. Hit coming in, but that's okay. That's probably going to, yeah, activate the repost there. That's fine. You should be dead now. Good. Annie, um, I'm going to do one more heal, then try and swap everyone around again, get them into proper positioning while we have the time. A little bit of extra stress coming on Annie there, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it appropriately. That's a nice crit there, Ronaldus. Thank you. Oh, my God. And there's a hit. A few more enemies coming in now. Right, there's another horse, so we could get trampled anyways. So it's probably not worth moving things around until you're gone. Just go for the hit on you. Right, Ronaldus, you're gonna you're gonna set that up again. Oh, this is tough. Right, you can you can move back there now. We've got time. Nice, the double kill. You've still got a round of stealth left, which means we can't really do much here. So let's just get some restoration going. I I may have sort of mi misplayed. Really, you dick. I, I think I've misplayed um, Scarecrow Fragment here with his trinkets, because I haven't really been using his restoration all that much, and I thought I'd be using it a lot more than I have been. So, that's not great, but we can deal with it. Nice hit. Nice hit. Right, I think we're at the boss now, so we need to rearrange everyone. Oh no, one more, one more set of enemies. Um, You can't kill that thing, but I'm going to go for this anyways. 
Party heal going on. Lovely. Strike one of them down. Not getting the crits we need, but that's okay. The Hugh should kill both of those. Lovely. Thank you, Humurby. He's on zero stress. He doesn't give a damn until he takes some stress. We'll swap these two around again here. Um, yeah, you can just come to the front. We'll skip out on a little bit of damage here. Go for an attack on you. We'll go for a kill on this thing. Didn't get it. Crit heal for 14, though. I think we're going to end up taking some stress here. I don't think we've got another, another round of killing this thing. Oh, no, we do. We do. Didn't get the kill, unfortunately, but we did take out the shards, at least. There's another thing coming in. Wow, there's a lot more things than I thought here. Oh, no, there you go. And then we have this here. I always want to check what they do, just in case. Um, the Miller's Heart. That's going to be a camp. Um, all right. So I don't think I have any... Um, I don't think I have any... Oh, no, we have Prevent Nighttime Ambush here, but that's plus 10 stress on everyone. We have Prevent Nighttime Ambush there as well. And here. Okay. Right, let's do this. Okay. Right. Take the food. Right, let's have a little look what we need to do here. So, probably a good idea to set, set up that. Um, let's see what you've got. Not great. You've got this here. Right. So I think we definitely go with this, because he's our biggest damage dealer. Then we go with this, as the leave us with six left. No, f first we go with... with this. Then, I think, do we go with that, or do we go with this? It's hard to say, really. Hmm. I think we go with this. Oh, this is only one person. Okay, maybe not, then. We'll go with that. And then we've got two left. Probably best to just get rid of some stress on you. Okay, let's see how that goes. That wasn't the best. Let's make sure we're reorganized. Good, good. And here he is. Here he is. Okay, so he's going to be spawning enemies. I think we start off with this. Get that buffed prop. Um, can we stun him? No. <laughs> is the answer to that question. Absolutely not. We can hit you for a bit. Is it worth it, though? Or do we just play for the stress reduction? I think we just play for the stress reduction right now. It's only meager, but we'll do it. Um, yeah. Let's take you out. Nice. Master Beckons is bringing in another Scarecrow. Oh, please don't stress him. Okay, luckily we've, we can get rid of that. He's back. This should do good good amounts of damage. It really should, especially if it crits. A little bit of stress there. That's fine. Let's take that out. I'll try to, at least. A little bit of blight there. Okay. I'm a bit scared for this, to be honest. I'm a bit scared. Um, let's go for that party heal. And that's probably most advantageous here. Go for the heal on both of those. That's a huge crit there. Huge crit. Well done. The reaping here. Painful, but we can deal with it. Nice hit there, Scarecrow. Fragment even. Getting that back to back's annoying, but we can always just go for a party heal, yeah. Which pretty much undoes all the damage we just took. That's huge! Look at that damage! Look at that damage! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! That's... Oh, that was... That was massive. The harvest there. Wow! He just crit heal for 30, but we just crit him straight back for 27. Ronaldus, you beast. Okay. We've, we've, we've got this in the bag. Crit. No, oh, damn it. Just keep on with the, with the party heals. The party heals are doing us a great, great work here. Great service. Oh, that extra damage. Ow. That extra damage against size 2 is really helping out here. 11, and he's pretty much done. Yes, we got him. Okay, that was stressful. That was tough. But he has taken 
down. And we gain everything we gained. 35 shards gained. Everyone's up to level 4 here. Okay, leprosy's not great. Bad humor's definitely not good. We probably want to get rid of some of this here. Wow, that went well. That was a very stressful, very stressful fight there. I was worried towards the end there. Shriekling's Den. The caretaker has returned from the old road, all covered in bile, reporting that Shrieklings have been uh, found a new nesting ground. The Hamlet residents confirm the unsettling calls. Keep disturbing their sleep. Interesting. The Shrieklings are about. Right, so let's uh, unequip all of our trinkets. Reorganize by class restriction. Uh, and then let's let's get rid of some of these diseases and stuff, shall we? So bad humus needs to go. Leprosy needs to go. Okay, let's see. Who have we got taking on? We've got... Wow, okay, we've got some good stuff here. We've got some good stuff. We've got a master's level succubus, so we can trade out our current succubus, which is a level three, I believe. Where are you? Chasey here. So we, we take on a new Chasey. Need to just remember how to spell this. Chasey. I. Stick. Right, we've got a new Chasey, which is pretty awesome. We can get rid of this one now. Uh, and we have a new class. A werewolf, which I'm very happy to finally see. The werewolf is a, a very cool class. So happy to have that. Let's check our Nomad's Wagon, see if we have anything crucial. Twilight Knight, pretty interesting. Sierra only, that's fine. Harlot, meh. Extra damage and dodge. Okay, nothing particularly there. Wow. Um, wow, that's really good. Minus 10 chance party surprised. Extra speed, extra crit. Oh my god, we're definitely buying that. I know we've got very limited money right now, but that's great. That's really, really good. But now we have 42 shards, which means that the shard shop is certainly an option for us now. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit more so we can get up to the 45 range. Um, but we have some interesting ones here. Uh, let's have a little look. Cultist. Um... Bypass Stealth, minus 20 Virtue Chance, plus 5 is for Jared Dust. Privateer, basically means he doesn't eat anymore. Okay, so there's some interesting ones here. These level 45 ones are probably more our speed, more our speed though. We probably want to try and get up to 45 before we try, try buying anything. Honestly, there's some super cool trinkets here. Super, super cool. But that was a very successful little mission there. I'm very glad we went on that. Worked out very nicely, and I'm I'm very happy with the group we brought as well. The group we brought was was great. Wow. Begin the harvest. Interesting. Oh, that was that was this. It was a stressful one, though. It certainly was. It certainly was a stressful one. I'm I'm tempted to uh, to leave it there actually, and uh, and say that, that that's going to be a, a good episode ending because. God, I don't know if I want to go and go ahead and do anything more. Wow, we that 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 that, that really did take it out of me. Um, okay, we have the Shriekling's nest here. So from what I know of the Shriek of the Shriekling or the Shrieker, the Shrieker can steal trinkets, but it doesn't tell you what trinkets have been stolen. So there's a very there's a very good chance that we go to use one of our very commonly used trinkets and it no, no longer exists. So I'm I'm a bit scared for that to be honest. A little bit scared for that. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But we've got a, a bunch of different things that we can go and do here. Uh, I think we're going to end up leaving it here, to be honest. I know 33 minutes, 30, whatever, 30 minutes is really short, but we do have a lot of diary entries to get through to end this off. We have one last one here from TEA, and this is a one for Harathan and Forsaken. I was attacked in the streets today by a commoner. He came out with a club and attacked viciously, saying something about how I was evil and would doom them all. I understand why I might think that, but all I've done is protect these people. I managed to get away from him without being harmed. Uh, without harming him, sorry. And only now do I notice the glaring looks I get from everyone. And it isn't just me. The whole town is writhing in silent anger. Oof, interesting. Then we have one from Sixth here, uh, our Beastmaster by Cell. After the fight with the Hag, I was overcome with waves of nausea. I was ready for it this time, but it still left me little, uh, left me staggering. I feel like my, na uh, my name will return to me soon, though I can't say how long until it happens. 
What's more worrying is that I had killed the hag with my own hands, but today I saw her once again, standing in front of me. Oof, interesting. And then this one. This one's the 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 uh, the big one. And this one is awesome. And the, not only is this a great story, and it's one the one that sel has been building with Dismas and Trell, but she's also going to be adding in some, or hopefully adding in some new animations as part of this story to the game for Dismas, which I'm super looking forward to. And it's, it's some crazy effort that people are putting into this series. I can do nothing but thank all of you out there that have been watching either silently or leaving comments and the people that have been helping to write these characters and build these beautiful stories that I, I love so much. Like, I was talking to uh, TEA the other day just about how attached I am to this series and these characters and how scared I am every time I go out, even if it's an easy mission, that one of them might die. Because I there is 68 people, and I remember pretty much all of their names, like, off, off of the top of my head and it's got to the point now where if I think of the um, the Helion class I don't think of the, the the name Helion I think of the name Felfer and when I, th when I think of the Beastmaster I think of Sixth I don't think of the actual class names anymore I think of our characters names that have become that attached to them but here we go with this big story so sit back and relax and get ready for this this is an entry for Dismas I finally wor worked up the courage to explore what used to be my old home the door practically rotted in my hand when I tried to open it, and inside smell of musty air and repressed memories. There was not a soul in sight, but I felt as if I was being watched. As a precaution, I uttered a simple alert spell I had learnt from Ryan's books. It wouldn't do much, but I felt safer with it up. And as I'm writing this, um, I've entered my parents' old bedroom. The blue silk sheets were stained with mould and lice. A bottle of cheap booze laid in the corner collecting dust. A spider appeared to have taken reticence upon it. Once I'd looked through the bedroom thoroughly, I began to move to the stairs to the wine cellar, and again, I felt as if someone, or rather something, was watching me. The further, went, further down I went, the more substantial the shadows felt. Out of the corner of my eye, I'd see a purple crystal-shaped twinkle of light for a brief moment. The cellar seemed smothered in darkness, despite the blazing torch I carried. When I rounded the corner to my father's study, I found the door frame sealed with a shimmering purple light. Before it stood a, ma um, a masculine, featureless figure. Its body was made of oil, with countless lights of violet stars twinkling throughout its form, a black tar-like sludge pooling around its feet. Hello, brother, it said in a calm, smooth voice. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Glad to see you, Nil, I replied, lowering my gun. I see you've outgrown your flask that father gave you. After his death, I was left by myself down here for months. Nil almost seemed mournful of the old man. Thankfully, he had been prepared for such an event and left me enough nutrients for me to grow into this form I have now. It was quite lonely, you know. Even though he wasn't a good man, it was better to be yelled at than left in silence. I'm sorry, I said. I should have come sooner. But I was stuck doing something else. Nevertheless, I'm here now. Dismas, Nil asked figure shake, uh, shaking a slightly. Will I be stuck down here forever? Actually, that's why I came. I think it's time you left the ruins of our old home. But where will I go? It's not like I belong anywhere else in the world. I would stand out no matter where I went. I've learned throughout the past year I've spent battling horrid creatures of evil alongside all manner of arcane beings is that there is always a place for everyone. I've begun looking into old arts and old magic that I think might be able to use our shared blood to bind our souls together so you can safely leave the magical circle that our father set up to keep you contained here. It's a long shot, but it should allow you to use one of my closest possessions as an anchor. Will it work? Well, I haven't tried it yet, but it's your best hope of leaving here. I began to untie the necklace I kept hidden under my scarf, but Nil reached out his hand and stopped me. If I'm going to be free, I want to choose my own anchor. And I choose your gun. My gun? Yes. It's what you used to fight evil. I'd like to aid you with it. I was born from your blood, Dismas. With my powers and your skills, it would give me an extreme edge in battle. I've never been able to choose anything before in my life, but now I would at least like to make this choice. Alright, I'll set up the ritual. Thank you, brother, Nil said. Oh my god. Oh, just reading that gives me chills. So, for those of you that are a little behind on the story or, or had, a, had an issue understanding any of that, basically, Dismas went back to his hometown with Trell, knowing that there was a a force that his father had kept hidden in a in a jar, in a flask, that was made from Dismas's blood, some sort of ethereal 
sort of soul that he'd captured and his father had died and the house left in ruins and it had grown into this creature into this ethereal eldritch creature and Dismas has come back to claim it and he is going to bind with it and bind their souls together with his gun and be uh, make, make sort of this Nil, his brother, this eldritch ethereal being become one with him bind their souls and he's gonna actually add some eldritch style animations to Dismas's attack animations to make to make Neil come to life and I just can't wait it's gonna be so cool but either way I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thank you all for writing these wonderful wonderful diaries and stories to make the series what it is today I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one